Hey, and welcome to Drift HQ. First thing I want to say is you need to keep watching until the end because we're going to be giving away these beautiful SSR Koenig wheels. We're nearly there. We're nearly ready to, to give these wheels away. So please keep watching till the end. In today's video, we're going to be pulling apart Haraguchi's legendary Mazda RX-7 for restoration. So we're going to do some uh, more work on this uh, yellow RX-7. Uh, so today we're going to be uh, probably get the motor out, but luck, get the gearbox out, and um, get ready to take it to the panel beaters early next year. Um, so we're going to go do that. But first of all, before we take it to the panel beaters, we're going to go to Japan, go see BN Sports, and get a new body kit for it. Uh, so we'll get front sides and rear, and put the old stuff on the wall as memorabilia and uh, put the new stuff on there, always keep the old stuff ready to go but um, yeah we'll freshen that up with a new front bumper, a new rear bumper because it hasn't really had one on since we've had it and we'll go from there Alright so we're going to get this thing out basically, remove the drive shaft Drain the gearbox oil, drain the engine if we haven't done it already, and then we're going to turn around and pull it out with the engine crane we've got over here. We've got that set up already along with the oil catch can, a few tools, probably get a few more spanners, and um, we'll get, the, get going, get this out, and um, yeah, have a good time. losing these for the day. It's the most lost tool in the land.
Ah, looks like we've already drained it. Cool. Next to Gibbon. Yum. Yeah, right it's gonna be good to get this straightened. Back being somewhat straight, about a hundred mil out each side, so it'll be cool. Nice little screen report. Pretty cool to go over this motor, clean all the um, all the oil leaks up, make sure she's minty fresh, and then go to gold. Feels scared. One thing I am going to do, I'm going to put some CRC, WD-40, lubricant, whatever, on all these bolts because they're going to be tight as hell. They're sitting for like many moons, these ones will be alright, but all this shit's going to be fucking tight. Ooh. See what those bad boys? Let's see where the old cage was, maybe. I don't know. Pretty good. Cool, 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 cool. Oh, look at these nasty boys. Cool, cool, cool. What else we got? Who wants to it? Fuck it. Cool shit. Now we're good to go. We're going to rip it apart. Get off your little mongrel. Come on. And you play the mongrel. Sick. Well, we got this. That's the tight. Loose. Spin into that position there. We have to get them out. Must be men's to things. More somewhere. Okay. Oh, tip. Yeah, with the hammer, eh? Mm. Always bag and tag your shit.
sick. Where are you come? Ooh, first time this has been out in a long time. So we got most of the um, stuff off the engine, it's ready to go, this is the uh, power steering, it's all hanging off, it's ready to pull out. It's going to disconnect the loom, we're going to take it off the engine, it's probably a little bit easier going through there and coming out that way, but it's going to come off the engine anyways. Time to get this uh, mission out, unscrew this, hopefully that's all we're going to do, unscrew this and hopefully it's got some bolts under there, not too sure. It's been a while since I pulled apart an FC. In fact, the last FC I pulled apart was yellow as well. What a coincidence. And it wasn't this FC. Oh, god dang. Come on now. Got this. Now you there. Pop that off. Oh, right. That looks beautiful. Mmm, damn. Would you just look at that? I might have to chuck that on eBay, bro, too, Mickey. Oh, yeah. What do we got under here? Fuck, this is cooked. All right. Wow. All right, so it looks like we've got three Jumili bolts. Riddle, riddle, riddle. Oh, this wrong thing. There we go. Nice work, Michael. Oh, we'll drop them down there because we'll pick them up later. Here we go. Second. All right, that's that. Have a shifter. Bang, pops out. Bit festy, but it's there. Cool. All right, box is good to go. Let's just get, get this party on the road. So after some steep hard thought, I'm not going to pull the loom off the engine right now because I can't be bothered, but I'm going to pull it out of inside there, inside the car, and um, hopefully it'll get done a little bit quicker. Yeah, cool. So we don't really have much room to get into the car on the hoist. That's why I was going to pull it off the engine, but I don't know. This, is, this seems easier. And I'll get into a contortionist mode and we'll be able to get up in here. What are we doing? So, under that, pull just those cables there. 
Let's get this. Get the dog. Bingo. Is that one there? I guess we get pulled out of that room. I don't think it's about it. What have we got up in there? Hello. What do we got lighting? Oh, let's see it might stuff us up. So pull that out. Oh yeah, that's gonna pull right through. That's simple as is. Thank you, Mazda. Much appreciated, Mazda, for making that easier than I thought. So uh theoretically we should just be able to tug on this and it'll come through. Let's see. Oh yeah, gangster. Obviously we've got a few other wires here. Yeah. So let's get this main loom. This is going on here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You little devil. Let's unplug that one here. You find the mongrel. Right. How are we going to do this? We got this. Oh, boom, look, got it undone, sick. Let me just pull that loom through. Ah, uh, it's stuck on. Well, it's stuck on something. Let's see if I check this out. Okay. There we go, oh. Come on, yes, all right, cool. Boom. Gangsta. We got it this time. We got one more wire going in here. All right. Where's it go? Okay, we're going to have to be a little bit hoary and cut it. That was heaps easy. Alright, now let's get all these fucking things. So we're gonna have to pull these through. So we wanna try and keep this rubber, I guess. Um, yeah, cool. And then, yeah, we'll get that engine out. Booyah! Yeah, so um, I got talked into doing a bit more on this RX7 before I take off to Japan and go get its uh, uh, body kit. But um, so yeah, what we've done is we've pulled the wing off, pulled the tail lights off these guys, got that off the car, exposed some more gremlins. The car's got a little, uh, couple of more little uh, hidden treasures, one would could say. Um, <laughs> but now we're going to pull the seats out of it. So we decided we'll uh, open the door there. We're going to pull the interior completely out of the car. We'll uh, wrap it up and put it in storage until we're finished, and um, that way we can get the car done on the inside as well and for now as uh, we've spoken about probably going to leave the outside with the classic JDM drift patina look the patina yeah we'll go with that and, except for um, this bit Oof. yeah so found a little bit more rust got a little bit under this boot <laughs> wing you know the um, water obviously got trapped here and it's pretty pretty soft and brittle so I don't know how long the patina looks going to go for but yeah Probably have to repair some of this fairly soon. And yeah, we'll fucking uh, we'll get into it. Rip this shit out. Let's go. Yes.
Thanks for watching. Uh, as you saw today, we're progressing the restoration. We're working hard on this car. The plan is to get it completely restored this year. Our original thoughts with this car is that we're gonna res completely restore um, the undercarriage of the car, uh, the interior, the engine bay, back to perfect condition. Uh, and we're gonna leave the exterior as the patina look. Recently, our boy Michael was in Japan for Tokyo Water Salon 2023. And he had a catch up with Mitsuro Haraguchi, uh, the owner of the car and also the owner of 326 Power who make amazing cars, amazing products. Uh, so he's still heavily involved in cars. He told us that he would love to see the car restored completely back to its former glory. He insisted that's how it needs to be restored. So we can't argue. So that's the plan. We're gonna restore the car perfectly. Um, and we're hoping that when the car's restored, that he will actually come over and drive the car around the track and do some demos do some demonstrations for us all. And that's the goal. There's nothing more than I would love to see, and I'm sure that many people would love to see. So that's the plan. That's how we're gonna restore the car. Stay tuned. Uh, in the next episode, uh, the drivetrain will be removed and we're gonna progress the car. The plan is, once, once we've got the drivetrain out, we're gonna look at uh, sending the car away. As discussed previously, it has a couple of, a couple of bends in the front chassis rails and a little bit of work to do underneath it. Uh, and then after that, the car will go up on the hoist, everything will come out of it, all the, the steering, suspension, uh, back to just a bare shell. Uh, every, all underneath the car will get painted, the interior will get painted, and all the parts will start being restored. Uh, we're going to try and use as many of the original parts as possible. If you yourself or your company wants to support uh, the restoration of this car, uh, please hit us up. Um, you know, we'd love. We'd love some sponsors on board. It's going to help help get this car restored quicker, um, and you know bring some bring some dreams to reality. Not just for us, but for so many people who love this car. A while ago, we put up a giveaway. As you can see behind us, this fantastic set of SSR Koenig wheels, perfect for your drift car, JDM car, any type of car. We're going to pick the winner based on one of our most loyal followers from anywhere in the world. Someone who is liking commenting, sharing, and they're subscribed to our channel who really support Drift HQ. So we said we were gonna give these wheels away when we reach 5,000 followers and we're nearly there. We're only a few hundred off. So what you need to do now is step it up, um, you know, support our channels, support YouTube especially, and uh, these wheels could be yours. We're gonna send them to anyone, anywhere, anywhere in the world. So these wheels could be yours very soon.